Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And we are back again taking another new look at old news. That's right. What do you got today for us, Shane? I don't know what it is, but I'm I'm still stuck on fowl, I guess, because last time we talked about chickens, right? Yeah. It is right, isn't it? Yeah. We talked about the hen that laid the eggs with the bullets. You. I knew that. Yeah. I was just testing you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anyhow, we're going from a chicken to a turkey. So, uh -huh. you know, we're stepping up in the world this week. And I found this one. I can't remember what paper this is in. Hopefully I can... I've not done a good job of saving where I found it at, but... I don't know what it did wrong. Anyhow, the headline grabbed me on this one, and I don't, I don't even know how I stumbled into that, because I found like two or three other chicken ones here that I had to choose from. I was like, I'm not going with the chicken. <laughs> I'll do turkey, but I won't stoop to two chickens in a row. What so is it? Like, like, I guess that says a lot about our area when like chickens and turkeys are big headline news. Well, you nixed one last week, if you'll remember. It was where a uh, thief chloroformed chicken to steal them. That's right, yeah. <laughs> well, don't give it away. We might still do that one. Mm -hmm. If there's a lot of demand to hear about a chicken getting chloroformed, then let me know. We'll, we'll, we'll make it come <laughs> we'll out. It out. Maybe we'll do three in a row. Who knows? <laughs> this one's headline is, Tame Turkey, But Led a Wild Life. I like that title. Yeah. It seems like newspapers were better at titles back then, too. They had to be more creative. I feel like the headline part isn't as much of a realer as the second part, though. Okay. Is... Well, yeah, and this is where the facts come out. The facts are stranger <laughs> than the headline. Stolen bird changed hands six times during a seven-day period. That's wild, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, we got to get to the bottom of this one. Huh? Was it the golden goose? But um, boom. Oh. Wait, it wasn't a goose. It was a turkey. Right. That's yeah. I, did. I talked about good geese last week too. Oh, because yeah. it laid the silver bullet, the, the bullet eggs. The goose again laid the golden eggs. Oh yeah, yeah. So we're yeah. just going full circle, man. We yeah. just gonna get away from the birds. Uh, anyhow. Guess what the name of this turkey was? What was the name of this turkey? Sam. That's a good name for turkey, isn't it? All right. That's a pretty good name. Well, it starts off kind of depressing, though. Sadly, Sam deceased. Why well, they probably had to throw that in there. A 32-pound turkey, at one time the property of Colonel J. Sinclair Brown, no doubt led a wild life during the last week of his existence. For according to the testimony brought into Judge George S. Stevens in Justice's Court Saturday morning, the fowl changed hands six times during this period. You with me still? I'm still with right. you. I hope they are. Clayton Cooper was blamed for giving Sam his start in an extensive travel and was fined five dollars and costs and sentenced to four months on the county roads on a charge of larceny. Dang, that was a pretty stiff penalty, wasn't it? I guess so. I mean, five bucks, I wouldn't want to pay that now for a turkey, but to have to go break rocks on the road for four months, that'd be... Well, I mean, a pound in the grocery store is, what, true, true. that's way more than that, so it sounds like it'd be worth it true. nowadays, but... 32 pounds, 32 pounds turkey. Four, four months on the county roads, you couldn't do that. Oh, no, I don't. No. Yeah. Anyway, moving right along. Cooper, who claimed that he found the turkey, sold him to a man named Witt, who kept Sam at his home in Norwich. Witt entered the turkey in a shooting match at the home of a, of a Mr. Gaston, near the Dayerl School, I guess. Among other prizes in the match, besides the turkey, were chickens, a pig, and a quilt. I think oh I'd work for the quilt, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think it's the grand champion. Yeah. As is the custom in a shooting match, instead of firing at the prize, the entrance fire at a piece of paper, and the shot which strikes nearest to the mark awards the trophy to the person shooting the firearm. So Witt collected $7.50 from the entrance in the match, and the turkey was won by Mr. Sweeney. Sam was not present at the match, but was to be secured from Witt when called for. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's getting deeper and deeper like the rabbit. It's like I've been pranked. <laughs> Members of the Brown family, searching diligently for their turkey last Saturday, failed to realize that it was the subject of interest in gunshots in the vicinity. Sweeney sold his property for $4 to a man named Weeks who in turn sold it to Johnson for $6.50. Now, that was a good businessman right there. That guy turned around and pocketed two bucks and fifty cents for nothing. Yeah. Uh, Johnson, who was on the Roanoke market one day, offered the turkey for sale to a friend of the Brown family, who believed that he recognized Sam and became suspicious. So told Johnson to hold the turkey until he secured funds with which to buy it. The friend communicated with Mr. Brown and was requested to purchase the turkey. 
When he again applied for it, Johnson stated that it had been sold to Mr. Wiggins for $7.25. Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Wiggins? Yes, yeah, this is a new, new okay. guy. Okay, yeah. a new guy coming he, into it. Now, he wouldn't do too bad himself. He made $0.75, cents, so that's not too shabby. Yeah, it ain't too bad. Yeah. And Let's that, see what we get the price up to, okay. though. <laughs> and that Wiggins had killed the turkey, but was offering it for sale at a nearby stand. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. The sheriff investigated the case and traced the life of the turkey from the time of Wiggins' purchase back to the time when Cooper had lured him from the home roost. From the, the home end. roost. Yeah. Did you write that? <laughs> Be honest. With what, me. the end part? No, the whole thing. No, I didn't. That just sounds like something you'd come I up with. I think it's in the Roanoke town. I think it's up in the Roanoke area, because I saw the Roanoke market. Now yeah. I remember, but yeah, it was... Uh, we were studying, reading for... And the city. The city people did it. Yeah. We're a bunch of crooks up in the city, too. You can't trust anybody. <laughs> but there. So what do you think? Seven, a 32-pound turkey. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. You think so? Mm -hmm. I just would hate to be the guy. Somebody lost, so he was fined five bucks. They were sold for four. I don't know. Somewhere on the way. I think if I was wanting to be anybody in this story, I would want to be wit. He collected seven dollars and fifty cents from it, so he profited. You know, he had the shot that won it, and, and nobody got to eat the turkey. I'd be, I don't want to be the one that got to eat the turkey. You know what? It doesn't say that they did, did it? No, he you was can't. killed for nothing. He no, was killed no. in vain. No, there's no way you can't. Maybe tell the me. cops took him as evidence. Yeah, I know. You know how cops do sometimes. <laughs> They're sketchy with that stuff. They, you know, that turkey uh. probably didn't go to waste after all. You know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe yeah. not. Maybe it was around Thanksgiving. Now, how would you like to be this sheriff investigating that and trying to trace the life of a turkey back that far, too? That's mm -hmm. pretty wild. Yeah. Wild would you turkey. say that he led him on a wild goose chase? Yeah, wild turkey. If you, you wild gotta, turkey chase. Yeah. That's some, uh, you look like somebody's drank a little wild turkey in your life. Is that alcohol? Oh, come on. You know it's alcohol. <laughs> I don't either. What kind is it? She doesn't know what wild turkey is? Come on. Who believes it? Really? <laughs> I've heard of it. I was thinking it was alcohol. Yeah, there's wild turkey, and it's not. I'm not as wild as you are. Yeah, it's not the good stuff by any means. But, but uh, no, yeah. So there we go, Mr. Turkey Sam met his met his Waterloo. Unfortunately, poor old Sam. Poor old Sam. Well, poor old for me. Poor old Clayton Cooper. Him getting four months on the county roads. So. It wasn't really the turkey's fault. It's kind of unfair to say wild turkey. Well, true. That's just, you know, I don't but know. But if I had to say, I would say a wild turkey lives an exciting last week. Well, I want to know how they got this Clayton Cooper. How do they know he stole it instead of it? And he said he just found the thing. And how do you keep it? Maybe turkey? this Clayton Cooper had a reputation. I guess. That's, that has to be it, doesn't it? Because, I mean, you know, to lure a turkey, I mean, who has a turkey for a pet anyway, or not a pet? Or maybe the owner saw him take it. Could be. I don't know. We have a lot of questions. We got a lot of questions. Are we coming away from this with more questions and answers? I don't know. Possibly so. All right. For, now, don't look. My biggest is who ate the turkey. Okay. All right. Well, for $7.50 and control the board, name three of the owners of Sam. Mr. Wiggins. I think that's right. Yeah, that was one. Um, that was a good name. That was a good name. Uh, Mr. Witt. Yeah. You got one more. Clayton Cooper. Oh, well, he wasn't an owner. He was a thief, but I'll give you that. He did own him. He, he yeah, he did. Okay, okay, you, okay. you owe me seven fifty, <laughs> Or you can just buy me a couple of scoops of ice cream. Okay, deal. I'll do the ice cream bit. Or I'll work four months on your road. I don't care. Oh, that would be perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, right. we hope you guys enjoyed the tale of Sam the turkey. He met his yes. Waterloo a bad way, but at least he was wanted. There's yes. something to be said for that. He was loved and appreciated in his life. And we hope that someone got to eat him so he didn't die in vain. Very true. I'd hate to see 32 pounds of turkey go to waste with me. I know. That's a lot of turkey. Can you imagine what they'd do with that at, uh, you know, one of these Charlie's or yeah. Jer Jersey Mike's? I was thinking yeah. of all-you-can-eat buffet. Oh, yeah. Butterball. Yeah. They could all share it in. But anyways, we hope you guys like this video. If you did, give us the thumbs up. Give us a comment about the funniest or craziest part. And if you can top that story. If you heard of... of turkey that got stole seven or eight times that would be great and if you happen to have some information that we didn't have yeah. you let us know maybe it was one of your ancestors that stole this turkey we usually run into somebody associated with these stories don't we so <laughs> all anyway. right guys we will see you on down the road